Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I have a what's in my bag. I actually feel like it's been quite some time since I've done one and ever since I got this new bag you guys have been requesting to see a what's in my bag on it as well as a review. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. My current fave bag is this Gucci Marmont bag. This is like in the like nude like blush pink color. It's more nude than it is pink. It's like a beige with like a hint of like like blush undertones so I really love this bag so much so um, I thought I'd review it today of everything that I put inside and just give a little overview on like wear and tear so far although I've had it for maybe a month or so I can't even remember I guess like time has been flying so fast that I just like lose track of time does that happen to any of you guys you just like lose time especially in the summer I feel like um, but anyways yeah I'm gonna get into this but if you're new to my channel definitely hit that subscribe button below I make tons of bag reviews I do lots of fashion and beauty videos so if you like those kinds of videos then subscribe for more also if you are subscribed make sure you hit that notification bell because it notifies you when I upload a new video and you'll be the first to know when I upload a video so I'm gonna get right into this review slash what's in my bag so as I said, this is the Gucci Marmont. This is in the small size. I will link this exact bag below so that you could find the exact one that I have because there are different colors and sizes and everything. It could be a little confusing to shop. So um, this is the small size. As I said, I got this in the like, nude pink color. Um, I can't remember the exact name of it. So as I said, I'll just link it. And then the back view has the cutest heart ever. And side view... This is pretty stuffed. It's like kind of heavy because I have some pretty heavy like items in here. Uh, and then it has the brushed um, gold hardware, which I like the brushed because the brush you can't tell um, as much on the wear and tear. So if you get a scratch, it's not as noticeable. All you do to open it is you click this little tiny thing down here and then it just pops open. So here's a little overview of what the bag looks like inside filled and my phone's going off. Um, got a few text messages. I'll take that out first, but this is my phone. I have the iPhone success, I think it is. Yeah, so um, have my phone, always need my phone like at all times. So definitely that's essential in my bag, no matter what. And then on top, I have my keys as well. This is usually like the last thing I'll put in, obviously, because I need these right away. So I have like my car keys, my house keys, everything like that, all my essential keys. Um, I have them in this Kate Spade pouch. This is actually from the Kate Spade outlet. I got it a long time ago. And I love it so much. And then I have, I'll show you, I have this little perfume from Erin. This is in the Hibiscus Palm. It's just amazing. And it's like limited edition. I don't know if they still make this, but I'll try to link what I can that's inside the bag down below. And then up next, I actually have my vlog camera. I do try to vlog a lot more lately. Um, so I like to carry this around for when I am vlogging. I'd like to share most of you probably won't have a vlog camera but maybe you would carry a camera around if you were traveling or whatever but this is like the size of this camera then you could replace it like with a card case or whatever that would be comparable in size so that you could tell this is pretty heavy that's what's taking up the weight of the bag but um yeah this is my canon g7x i will link my exact camera below um, but i love this thing it takes really good pictures too um if you're like traveling and whatnot and then I have one of these portable chargers. This is another thing that's pretty heavy, but I think it's essential. My phone just, as you guys know, if you've seen my past What's In My Bag videos, I've talked about my phone dying like so often. So this is essential for me to have because my phone dies and I need to have a portable charger on the go. So um, this is from Lumina. I got it off Amazon. It actually works pretty decently. A lot of the ones, like that's black, which I wish it was like a cute like pink floral design or something that they have out there. But like the, all the ones that were cutesy like looking, they're just like not working. Like they would break after a while. So that one has been working really well. I've had it for quite some time. So seeing, there's two more things in the back. So I have this lipstick. This You guys know this is one of my go-to lipsticks. This is by Urban Decay. It's in the shade Back Talk. You could tell I just have a little bit left, but it's just the gorgeous, like, dusty rose, like, mauve color. It's a great everyday color. Actually, this is, like, the first time I don't have it on for one of my videos. I have on a MAC lipstick. I think this is in Hot Gossip. It's actually really pretty, too, but, um, yeah, I love that lipstick, so that's, like, my go-to that's always in my bag. And then the last thing in this, I have a full-size 
wallet. This is from Kate Spade. If it were up to me, I wanted to get the Louis Vuitton little card or the key pouch thing to put my cards in. If I was thinking a bag like this, I honestly would try to size down the wallet, but they were sold out when I went to go get one. So um, I'm still having to use this in the meantime, but this is still a really nice wallet. And um, even if you have like a regular full size bag, I would recommend this wallet because it's just really nice and sturdy. It's Safiano leather, so it's very, very durable. And I think this is a really pretty color too. It comes in so many different colors. I don't even know if they sell this exact color, but I already took my license out. But um, yeah, this is what it looks like inside. It has a ton of card slots. I have a ton of I have a ton of gift cards and credit cards. Um, I actually don't have actually I don't have a ton of credit cards, but um, I just have my bank card, and my my Visa card, and my Nordstrom card, um, and then some gift cards. So um, and then in here I have cash, and then I also have <laughs> I have a stack of business cards. So yeah, and then what else is this? Oh, I have Nicoletta Pizza at the for the king of prussia mall i love their pizza it's really good so and then here i have a coin pouch filled obviously coins and i try not to carry too many around because it does weigh down your bag after it collects so i try to like empty it out once in a while so yeah this is what the wall looks like and i think it's really nice and sturdy and it's just very handy it's like quick and easy to get in and out of it's very everything's very organized and in front of you it's very like well laid out so um yeah i absolutely love this here's what the bag looks like inside i don't ever really put anything in the zipper pouch inside i actually just keep whatever it came with in here what i don't even know what it came with i don't know there's like this little thing here i think this is like care booklet authenticity card i don't know something like that but that's within that pouch i just keep it in there because i just like to keep it with the bag so um yeah, that's my Gucci Marmont bag. It fits, so it fits a quite a decent amount. So this is kind of like the review portion if you're here for that. Uh, but it fits quite a decent amount, I'd say. It's, it fits more than you would think. Um, as I said, I got my, my full-size wallet, my phone, my camera, my phone charger, my keys, my lipstick, a perfume. Like That's all the essentials, really. I mean, you're not going to obviously be able to fit every single essential, like a water bottle, a snack. Um, even if you have bulk of your keys, like you might have a little bit of trouble fitting every single essential in, but I do think it's a nice size. Like I could fit all my personal essentials, like everything I would truly, truly need to have with me. It fits. So, um, I think it's a great size bag, the small one. Now, if you are wanting a little bit more space, then maybe I'd say size up to the medium, but I would say for an, like an everyday to evening style bag depending on how much of like things that you need to carry with you this may be sufficient enough so just depending on what you need to carry so i'm just going to do like i'm going to show you how you can wear it really quick so the first way you could wear it is double like this so you just wear it on your shoulder and then I also like to wear it like this, just over the shoulder like this. So I wear it like this, over my shoulder, and then I also like to wear it cross the body as well, and it sits really nicely. I'm 5'7". I don't know if you can tell where this sits on me, but um, it fits perfectly. I may insert some pictures of me wearing the bag, but um, yeah, I just really think this is a great bag as far as wear and tear goes i feel like as far as wear and tear goes i think that it literally looks like it's brand new overall um i mean i would say this is not a bag you're gonna throw around like you get in the car and just like throw it anywhere like i would definitely try to maybe slightly baby this one a bit more versus your other bags like for my louis vuitton airflow well, actually i was right next to me so i was cleaning it out but this one is more like my throw around and go wherever bag this one I'm gonna be, a, I don't baby it, but like I'm gonna try to take care of it a little bit more than my my everyday bag. So as far as that goes, I mean the metal though is really nice and durable. The leather I would say is a little bit more delicate. So far so good. I would totally recommend it if you're on, like have your eye on one. Um, I think it's so pretty, I think it's so girly, I think it's feminine and classic, like it doesn't go out of style, it's not trendy or anything. So um, I think it's really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed my what's in my bag slash Gucci bag review and hope you're having a great day. And if you have any questions about this bag at all definitely leave them in the comments below and yeah that's about it for today's video so i'll talk to you soon in my next one
Bye.